welcome back to the Pipe Squad. Oh my God, that's heavy. Welcome back to the Pipe Squatch channel. And today I'm gonna do a VR to a fellow Squatch. Gonna do a VR to Sasquatch Piper 2. I'm not sure what happened with his first channel. Uh, I know there were some issues where he got up to like 300 and somebody hacked him and he couldn't get it back into his channel. So he had to start a new one called Sasquatch Piper 2. And he was really excited to get back up to 100 subscribers. And I think he's gone up to like 150 now since he started the, the VRs. Seems like a really neat guy. He's just north of me in Kentucky. And this is a VR to him. Smoking some Peter Stockaby or Stokaby or however you say it. I think it's Stockaby because there's two Ks. <laughs> I'm trying to be an English teacher all of a sudden. But the Peter Stockaby Nougat I got mainly because I found out in the Lord of the Rings movies, this is what all the actors agreed to smoke was Peter Stockaby's nougat. And smoking it in my Missouri Meerschaum, I think it's a, the general. I got it just because of that General MacArthur picture where uh, he's standing there. It's good enough for him, surely. It's a great smoker. It's It, it has almost the church warden length stem. I'm not sure if you call it that because I think church wardens are supposed to come up, but this is a outstanding pipe. And I wanted to go with the cob because I always see Sasquatch Piper 2 with it. He, <laughs> I felt horrible because I, I named my channel. I was all pumped because on Talking Lead, they used to always call me Squatch. Kind of landed that nickname through all my little media endeavors or whatever. And I was like, nobody has Pipe Squatch. Cool, I'll do that. And then next thing you know, I start seeing all these VRs to Sasquatch Piper 2, and I felt real bad. But when I Googled Pipe Squatch, I didn't really see anything there. I, I think he's got a great channel. I've even talked to him about doing like a dual Sasquatch, dual Squatch video at some point, because he's not far from me. Also why I'm wearing my Squatch Life shirt. I didn't have this made. I found it on Amazon. So he wanted to know our fondest memories of smoking a pipe. And I wasn't sure if he meant fondest memories like just of pipe smoking. So like he said his grandfather, my grandfather, or just ours. So I'm gonna do both. Of course, my grandfather smoking a pipe. Everybody has that story. It's interesting. It, it's not a whole lot of people have, I've, I've heard people say their father, but not a whole lot of people have my father or my mother for that matter, or my brother or my uncle. It's typically grandfather. So there's like this generation gap of pipe smoking that just stopped. I think a lot of it is because of the way our media and our society has become fast. Everything's fast. I can go on the internet and l learn a uh, semester's worth of college knowledge in a week if I wanted to. There's so much knowledge you can get. Emails used to, I mean, even when I started working in business in my early 20s, email wasn't that big a thing. It, you still had faxes, snail mail, all this stuff. So it took a lot longer. And to watch the speed of interactions between people and society progress as fast as it has, has been one, cool, but at the same time, scary. Because used to, if you were in the age of fax machines and mail, snail mail, you would get things done in a week that you can get done in a few hours now. So the, the expectations on, on humans in general has gone up. So what I'm getting at as I go into this philosophical discussion about technology and interaction is the pipe is something that slows you down, that takes time. It doesn't always stay lit you have to tamp it, you have to relight it. If you talk too much, like I do, often, a lot, redundant, then it will go out because you're not puffing on it. I apologize if I've sounded kind of nasally in the past couple of videos. We've got the remnants of the hurricane that came through Texas and it's coming up to Tennessee now and it's just been solid raining and it brought some allergy stuff with it. I think that might be why there's that gap in pipe smoking is is people want it now and fast and quick thus the success of cigarettes and other tobacco products that necessarily aren't that great for you to where the pipe is not horrible so i just totally jumped off of the vr that i was doing for sasquatch piper 2. Whew. my favorite memory now like since i've been smoking a pipe 
And I'm not gonna count when I tried 20 years ago and all the little times I tried up until the last three months. But I started smoking a pipe then and now on my own. I didn't really smoke a pipe with anybody else. Mostly because what I said, there's not a whole lot of people around that smoke pipes. I would love to see this, this community grow and people see the joy and benefit and them start to slow down and enjoy life more. So I'd like to have more people to be able to smoke with. Uh, I know there's a video I'm gonna do really, really soon with, uh, with three guys, Waves of Java, Bryce Parker, and LL Haynes, Lonnie. And we're gonna kind of enjoy a virtual pipe. And that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it, you know, enjoying a virtual pipe or virtually smoking with the Squatch or I don't know, but I'm hopefully gonna do that in the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna try to get with them on Voxer. By the way, I'm on Voxer. Yeah, ADD moment, uh, just pipe squatch. Look at that. And then we're gonna do that video. But my favorite memory of smoking a pipe is y'all actually got to see it when I sat down with my friend John from the Hickok 45 and Sun channel and the Hickok 45 channel. And I got to share a pipe with someone. And I got to share a pipe with someone who hadn't had one before and now enjoys them and does a lot with them. He's done a couple of tobacco reviews on the Hickok 45 and Sun channel. We had a great time, and once that, that focus, that slowing down started happening, you could kind of see where we went into some really deep conversation. Really weird sometimes, but that's how I tend to get, and that's how sometimes he gets when we get together. But it was fun, it was enjoyable. Uh, the sharing of ideas and philosophies without it being a harsh debate on things. And I think maybe that's why politicians and generals back in the day, would smoke a pipe because it slows you down and it, it causes you to have good conversation without it being too crazy and angry. So that's my favorite memory of smoking a pipe. Congratulations Sasquatch Piper too for getting back up to that 100. I can see you hitting that 300 in a couple months. You, you're a great guy. It's like you're just walking in the woods or wherever you're at and you're letting us hang out with you too. That's one of the cool things about this community on YouTube is granted, yeah, I do the review style in my office and, and sometimes it's not as hangy outy, but there are times where I'm gonna start you know, doing my VRs in the truck where it's not that popcorn poppy or walking in the woods behind my house too. I wanna do that too. I wanna to be able to bring y'all with me so we can all enjoy, enjoy a pipe together. Congrats again, Sasquatch Piper 2. Until my next video, everybody, keep your pipes loaded. Slow down, philosophize, and enjoy your life. Okay. I'm milking the cow. Enjoy your life. See you guys.